Hello and welcome back to another yoga tea and the British aristocracy. This time we have the first Earl of Sandwich. So the first Earl of Sandwich and he was actually given the title Earl of Sandwich by King Charles II. So he brought back Ching King Charles II from exile. King Charles I was executed. King Charles II um, fled to Holland and it was a secret mission. And the first Earl was a great naval officer, so Edward Montesquieu. And he was given the task of bringing the um, king back, King Charles II. And when he did, he was then given the title uh, Earl and thus uh, Earl of Sandwich. And people a lot of times ask, well, where did Sandwich come from? Um, and it comes from, uh, it's in an area, a county called Kent, which is in England. And it used to be a very great, well-known um, naval port. So he chose, because he was a big naval officer, um, head of the admiralty, uh, he um, uh, chose Sandwich. So um, he then became Earl of Sandwich. So I thought today my tea would be Earl Grey. <laughs> so today my cup of tea of choice is Earl Grey in honor of doing some yoga with the first Earl of Sandwich. Mm. But he's looking at his kit. He's definitely not in yoga kit. That would be very, very difficult to do. But that is the kit that he wore when he received um, his, uh, his peerage, the Earl, the Earl of Sandwich. So today, we're going to flow. It's uh, a nice short flow that you can do anytime, morning, afternoon, evening, um, anytime you need a little bit more energy, this is the flow to go to, or anytime you're just like, I just need to stretch it out. Do let me know down in the comments below um, any questions that you have about the first Earl, any questions about yoga, and of course, do let me know what tea you're drinking as well. Again, mine is Earl Grey, and let me know what you drank either before or after your yoga session. So with that said, let's immediately get started. And we're gonna to start today right away in downward facing dog. So we're gonna right away go into downward facing dog and take our cleansing breaths in our downward facing dog. So just coming into your downward facing dog, walking your feet further or closer away from the heels of your hands until you find that nice inverted V shape. And we'll take these three cleansing breaths here. So take a deep full breath in. And then just open up the mouth, let that breath out grounding into the mat, and again, inhale, breathe fully into your body. And with cleansing breaths, we open up the mouth and we let that breath out. And one more time, deep, full breath in. And we just open up the mouth and let that breath out. Good, from here, we're just gonna look at the space between the hands, lift the heels, super high so you can feel the soles of the feet being stretched. And now start to tiptoe your feet all the way up to the space between the hands, keeping those heels lifted super high until you come up to the space between your hands, lowering the heels down, taking that rag doll. But today with our rag doll, let's interlace our fingers behind the back. So we'll interlace the fingers behind the back and allow those shoulders to really open up. I like to keep the palms of my hands open. I get more of a release and more space through my shoulders, but some people like to bring the heels of their hands together. So just play with it. Either they're open or they're closed, but fingers are definitely interlaced. Couple more breaths here. Just see if you can soften around that shoulder area. See if you can just soften here. One more breath, deep, full breath in. And slow it down, exhale to empty. Release the hands down to the mat. Take an inhale, lift up to that halfway lift. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Even bring your hands to your shins to feel the crown of the head extending forward and the tailbone dicks extending behind you. On your next exhale, bring your hands to your hips. And as you inhale, slowly come all the way up to standing. Release the arms and the hands alongside the body. Toe heel your feet back together. Big toes to touch, little gap between your ankles. Close your eyes here. And again, with our intention, 
we're either bringing in something more that we feel we need, maybe just to get through this practice or to get through the rest of the day, or if something is weighing us down, we're using that intention to release so that we have more space to bring in the good. Once you've set your intention, blink your eyes open, have an amazing practice, take a big inhale, sweep your arms all the way up and really lift through those fingertips. So find the extension through the four sides of the waist. As you exhale, forward fold coming all the way down, a little bit more weight into the balls of the feet. Inhalation lifts you up just halfway, that wonderful halfway lift. Again, bring your hands to your shins if you need to. And as you exhale, plant the hands and step the right leg back. So right leg goes back. We're gonna bring the right knee down to the mat. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. So inhale, reaching the arms up. And as we exhale, take a twist to the right first. So right arm extends back, left arm extends forward. Inhale, take it back up to center. And exhale, twist to the left now. Right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, takes you back up to center. Lengthen through the spine. Arms are strong. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Pick the back knee up. Step the left foot back to the right foot. Bring the shoulders over those wrists. And as you exhale, lower your knees. Lift the tailbone. Bring the chest and the chin down for what's called Ashtanga Namaskara. Inhale, we just slide the thighs back. Come onto the belly. Press down through the tops of the feet. Lengthen up through the crown of the head. But keep the shoulder blades down the back. And as we exhale, we're going to exhale back into that child's pose. So hips to the heels, forehead anchoring you, arms lengthening away from the hips. One full breath here. So really ground yourself here. Breathe in. And just feel on the exhale the whole body softening into the mat. Again, inhale, travel the body forward into that tabletop. And exhale to lift your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. I always like to think of my intention, whether I'm releasing something or bringing something in, connecting it to the breath. So I'm not just flowing with my breath, I'm flowing with my breath and intention. One more deep breath into your downward facing dog, full breath in and a full breath out. Again, we're gonna lift the heels, tiptoe the feet all the way up to the space between the hands. This time, though, we're going to bring the feet together as we lower the heels down. Bring the feet together, a gentle bend of the knees, and just catch opposite wrists, forms, or elbows behind the backs of the knees. A little bit more weight into the balls of the feet. Maybe you're starting to slide the forearms down your calves towards your ankles. Feel the sitting bones lifting up as the crown of the head lengthens down. One more breath here, full breath into this little bit deeper forward fold. Breathe in. And maybe shake out your head, breathe it out. Release the hands down to the mat. Again, inhalation lifts you up halfway, shoulder blades down onto the back. Stay here, just exhale, bring your hands to your hips, shoulder blades down the back. As you inhale and come up to standing, press down through your feet, lengthen the tailbone down, and exhale the arms alongside the body. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhalation, again, forward folding, more weight into the balls of the feet. You breathe in to lift up to that wonderful halfway lift. And as we exhale again, we plant the hands. This time we're stepping the left leg back, bringing the left knee down, inhaling, sweeping the arms up. And first we exhale, take a light twist to the left. Right arm extends forward, left arm extends back. Inhale, takes it back up to center. Arms up alongside the ears. And now exhale, deeper twist to the right. Right arm back, left arm forward. Big inhale, bring the upper body back to center, reaching the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands down, lift the back knee up. Step the right foot back to the left foot. Bring the shoulders over those wrists. Push the floor away. Inhale here. And again, we exhale, lower the knees. Lift the tailbone. Bring the chest and the chin down. Inhalation to slide the thighs back. Maybe you want to lift up a little bit higher to that cobra, but we're extending up rather than extending back. So extension up through the spine. And now this time, we're going to take the exhale back into downward facing dog. But of course, you can come into your child's pose anytime you like. So take a deep, full breath in. And exhale to empty that breath out. 
Inhale, we're gonna reach the right leg high. So right leg reaches high. As we exhale, bend the right knee, open the right hip over the left hip, and just look underneath your left armpit. Circle your ankle, point and flex that foot. One more deep, full breath in here. And as we exhale, we're gonna bring the right foot all the way through, step it between the hands, bring the back knee down again. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Inhale, we roll the shoulder blades up, back and down. And we exhale, take a twist to the right. So hooking the left upper arm across the outer seam of your right thigh. Palms can stay together. You can inhale, yawn, the arms open. Maybe you're gonna curl your back toes under to lift that back knee up, to lift that back knee up. Extend that back leg. Maybe the gaze goes up beyond your right fingertips. Full breath in here, breathe in. And we breathe it out. Strong through your right glute. Inhale, takes you up into that high lunge. So inhale is that high lunge. Stay in your high lunge, use the exhale just to ground. Inhale, we're gonna reach the left knee into the chest. So with one big swoop, bring the left knee into the chest. This is where we're gonna work the glute a little bit. And exhale back into a warrior three. Long through your breath. Try not to be in a rush for this, right? We're really working that right glute. That's your exhale. Inhale, softly land the left ball of the foot back, reaching the arms up. And from here, we're gonna exhale again. Come back into that warrior three. So exhale back, warrior three, take your time. Inhale, left knee bends, comes through into the chest. Let's do that one more time because it was super fun. Again, exhale, take it back into that warrior three. The slower you do this, the more you're gonna feel this. That's your exhale. Inhale, softly lay on the left ball, the foot back reaching the arms up into that high lunge. And again, exhale, lifting up into that warrior three. So a long exhale here in that warrior three. And now inhale, slowly bring, I can definitely feel this in my right glute, the left knee into the chest. So left knee comes into the chest. We're gonna take that left leg over the right leg now, coming into our eagle, and the left arm underneath. Lifting the arm bones away, squeezing your inner thighs together, maybe link, uh, dropping those hips a little bit more. One more breath here, breathe in, squeeze your right glute in, I know, I know, I know. Exhale to empty. We're just gonna release the left foot down to the right foot and come up into chair. Releasing those arms, yes, come up into chair. Draw the hips back. One more breath here, you can do this. Draw the hips back, breathe in. Stay here, exhale to empty. Let's go inhale to half chair. So lowering the upper body across really those thighs, crown of the head and arms extending forward as the tailbone extends back. Again, one more breath here, we'll get a break soon. Stay here, exhale to empty. And now inhale, take it into that forward fold. So just take it into that forward fold, take your feet, hip width distance apart. Catch a hold of your big toes, two peace fingers. Again, your inhalation, you find that length. And the exhalation, you take it down into that forward fold. A Little bit more weight into the balls of the feet. So the sitting bone can lift up higher. Sitting bones lifting up higher, so you find more extension through the spine. One more breath, breathe in. And we breathe it out. Brilliant, very slowly inhale to lift up just to that halfway lift. And we'll exhale into our Malasana squat, taking the feet as wide as your mat or almost as wide as your mat, bringing the upper arms to your inner legs and hands at heart center. So spine is long, tailbone extends down, crown of the head up, shoulder blades down the back. One breath here, breathe in and just breathe it out. Inhale, release the hands down to the mat and step back on the exhale into your downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, we're first gonna inhale, just take it forward into a high plank. You can always lower your knees down to the mat as you exhale into that Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale takes you back, downward facing dog. One breath here, breathe in. 
and we breathe it out. So we'll inhale, reach the left leg high. Left leg reaches high, three like a dog. Exhale, bend the left knee, open the left hip over your right hip. This time we look underneath the right shoulder to keep the shoulders square. Start to circle your ankle, point and flex the foot. One more breath in here, full breath in. As we exhale, we bring the left foot forward in between the hands, bringing the back knee down, the right knee comes down. And inhale, reaching the arms up. Keep the spine long as you exhale, bring your hands at heart center. Take a moment as you inhale, roll the shoulder blades up, back and down to lengthen. Exhale, take a twist to the left, right upper arm hooking across the outer seam of your left thigh. Palms can stay together with thumbs at heart center or yawning those arms open. From here, we're gonna to start to curl the back toes under if they're not already, to pick that back knee up, strong through that back right leg. Breathe in and we breathe it out. Very, very slowly on your inhale, take it back up into that high lunge. So inhale as that high lunge, use your exhale to ground. Hug both glutes in towards each other. Core is engaged. Now we inhale, bring the right knee into the chest. And exhale, we take it back into that warrior three. Remember, we want to go nice and slow. So it's a long exhale here. Inhale, softly land the right ball of the foot back, reaching the arms up high lunge. And again, we exhale, upper body comes forward to help lift that right leg up, warrior three. That's our exhale. Inhale, right knee into the chest. Let's do that one more time. Exhale back, warrior three. The slower you do this, the more you're gonna feel this working your left glute. Inhale, softly land the right ball of the foot back, reaching those arms up, high lunge. We've got it one more time. Exhale, upper body forward to lift up into that warrior three, really lift that right leg. And from here, inhale the right knee into the chest, into the chest. Brilliant, you guys. And now take your right hamstring over your left thigh and your right arm underneath your left. Sinking those hips a little bit more, but drawing the arm bones away. So breathe in and we breathe it out. We're just gonna release the right foot down alongside the left foot, reaching the arms up, drawing the hips back, coming into that chair pose. Full breath in chair, draw the hips back, squeeze the knees in, breathe in and breathe it out. Nearly there, inhale. Tip forward a little bit, coming into that half chair. Fingertips extending forward, tailbone extending back. One more breath here. We're nearly there, breathe in and breathe it out. Very slowly, inhale, come down into that forward fold. So coming down into that forward fold from our forward fold, just take an inhale again, just to lift up halfway. And one more time, take an exhale to bring it down into that forward fold. We'll take the feet again, a little bit wider. So we're coming into that malasana squat again, upper arms to the inner legs. So upper arms to the inner legs. Either stay here, if you want a little bit more release onto that back, see if you can slide your upper arms down, slowly bringing the forearms down, bringing the forearms down. Even if your heels lift, it's a nice release in the back. One more breath here, full breath in. And a wonderful, amazing full breath out. Good, very, very slowly. Bring your hands behind you to lower all the way down onto your bottom. Amazing, you guys. Ooh, I can definitely feel that in, your, in my glutes. Definitely, definitely, that's why I like it so much. From here, we're gonna extend the left leg long. So extending the left leg long, just lift the right leg up and over the left leg. Coming into our Ardhamatsi Andrasana. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, bend your left elbow. Wrap the left upper arm across the outer seam of the right thigh. Back, stroke your right hand back to the base of the spine. And we inhale, we extend up through the crown of the head. And we exhale, we take that twist. Two more breaths, breathe in and we breathe it out. One more time, really inhale, extend out through the crown of the head. 
and exhale to take that twist. Very slowly on your inhale, come all the way around to the left for that counter twist, coming all the way around to the left. Exhale takes you back to center. Extend the right leg long and we'll just take it on the other side. Bend the left knee, lift the left sole of the foot up and over that right leg, long through the spine, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, bend your right elbow, wrap the right upper arm across the outer seam of the left leg, backstroke your left hand back. Try to get as close to the base of your spine as you can. And as we inhale, we lengthen up through the crown of the head. And as we exhale, we gently take a twist to the left. Two more breaths like that. Breathe in and breathe it out. I love a good twist. Breathe in for three and breathe it out for three. On your next inhale, take it all the way around to the right just for that nice counter twist. Exhale takes you back to center. Extend the left leg long, just give your legs a little bit of a walk out. And we're gonna bend the knees ever so slightly out to the sides, soles of the feet together. So we're coming into Tarasana. When we look down in between the legs, it should be a nice long diamond shape. So a nice diamond shape here. Start with the hands to either side of the hips. Inhale, again, lengthen through the crown of the head, but draw the shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, very slowly walk forward with your hands, trying to keep your spine as long as possible. Eventually, the hairline comes to really the heels, the base of the heels. So take your time with this. This takes time to get into. I didn't just one day magic this up. It took a lot of yoga to get to this place where I can now extend fully. So feel this where you're at today and know that continuing to do the yoga will get you deeper and your body more open. One more breath here. So full breath in. And again, a full breath out. Inhale, just to lift that upper body up. So we're gonna lift the upper body up. Slide the hands to the outer side, out, outer edges of your knees. Lift the legs, let's take it into that Navasana, that boat pose. Slide the hands to the backs of the knees, draw the belly and the thighs in towards one another. Spine should be long, shoulder blades again, down the back. Squeeze the knees in together. So knees are squeezing in together. Then from here, you have the option just to happily stay here or release the arms parallel to the floor beneath you without compromising that spine. Maybe lengthen through your legs, maybe even looking up here, breathing here, 10, nine, lifting through the chest, eight, and seven, lifting through the chest, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and very, very slowly coming all the way down onto your mat. So once you've come all the way down to your mat, amazing practice, everybody, amazing, amazing practice. Let's just bend those knees, bring the soles of the feet onto the mat, walk the backs of the heels up, so they just touch the tips of your middle fingers. Just three breaths in our bridge. As you next inhale, lift the hips, maybe even lift your toes here. As you exhale, choice. You can interlace your fingers underneath your back. If you want a little bit deeper bridge here, see if you can catch a hold of your ankles with your hands. Little bit deeper bridge and squeeze those inner thighs in towards one another as if you were holding a block in between your legs. One more breath here. So again, inhaling, lifting through the hips, but extending the tailbone away. And exhale. Slowly release. Just think upper back, middle back, lower back, sacrum, tailbone. Keeping the knees bent, coming into our final twist. Wrap the right leg over the left leg. Lift the hips. Move those hips gently over to the right. Let the left hip drop down. Knees flat to the left. Maybe cactus your arms or lengthen your arms. Take a deep, full breath in here. Full breath right into that twist. And exhale to empty. Inhale, slowly bring your knees back to center. Exhale to unravel and re-ravel. Lift the hips. Slide those hips over to the left, 
lowering the right hip down, allow the knees to drop on over to the right. Try to keep your left shoulder blade touching the mat beneath you. Coming into the final twist on this side, full breath in, right into that twist. And a full breath out. Slowly bring your knees back to center, unravel, lengthen your legs, doing anything else you feel your body needs to come into your final resting pose. So final resting pose, Shavasana. Anything else you need to do, use your blanket. If you've got a blanket near you, cover your eyes. Maybe put your sweatshirt or your jumper back on. I'm gonna leave you here so you can take as long as you would like in your Shavasana. Thank you all again for joining me here for some yoga, some tea. Today was Earl Grey and of course, part of the British aristocracy, the first Earl of Sandwich himself. Do comment down below after you exit from your Shavasana with any questions you might have, but also let me know what tea choice you had today.